Hey everybody, I'm going to do a video about my Fender Classic Player Jaguar. This is of course a single coil guitar, which means when I play on one pickup by itself with high gain it hums and buzzes quite badly. And when I turn on both pickups, the humming noise goes away, but uh, the entire tone of the guitar changes. So what I'm going to do, I bought another neck pickup, and I plan on putting it inside this rhythm cavity, and then wiring it so I can turn it on and off with the rhythm switch, because I never use the rhythm circuit anyway. When I'm finished, I'll be able to play on the bridge pickup by itself with a lot of gain, but it should be noise free. To make this pickup into a true dummy coil, Normally I would have to remove the pull pieces and the magnet, however, I don't want to ruin this pickup because I might end up putting it in the middle eventually. And also, I think it's too far away from the strings in the rhythm cavity to pick up any of the signal. Alright, my next task is to remove the rhythm plate, which is just um, these three screws. This one, this one, and this one. So I'll do that now. Okay. So this is how the rhythm control plate is wired. Eventually I'm going to have to remove these two. Uh, this is the volume pot and this is the tone pot. They're going to have to be removed from the guitar. And I'm not going to be able to comfortably work on the switch while recording, so I'm going to cut the video to a diagram. I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to do this. Let's say that this is the rhythm switch. Now I'm going to disconnect this blue wire from the switch. Then I'm going to disconnect this green wire from the switch. So those, these will no longer be part of the guitar. Then I'm going to disconnect this orange wire and disconnect this white wire and then I'm going to solder these together and then wrap it with electrical tape. Then I'm going to disconnect this yellow wire and then attach it to where this green wire is. And that's how the switch should look. This is what the rhythm plate should look like right now. The green and blue have been disconnected. This green and the yellow that was here are now on the same post and the white and orange are now connected to each other but disconnected from the switch. Okay, I've removed the volume and tone control from the rhythm plate. Now we have to add the pickup, which does fit inside this cavity without having to route the guitar at all. The pickup is now connected to the guitar. I've got the white wire from the pickup going to here where the uh, blue wire previously was, and the black wire from the pickup is going to this ground point right here. I have the pickup in the rhythm cavity now, and I've got it wrapped in a paper towel just to keep it from jostling around, and also to keep it from touching uh, any of the metal of the switch, any of the metal of the shielding. Hear that noise? Anyway, the guitar is back together now and everything's working as it should. The dummy coil is off right now, right? I've got the bridge pickup on. And let's turn the dummy coil on.
This is an addendum to the original video. Uh, when I had this up before, I missed out a step on this lug, the middle lug with the uh, yellow and green wire. Other wire needs to go on this lug all the way over to the lead circuit right on this lug here where the tone control connects to the capacitor. Now, if you don't have this wire, the dummy coil will still work, except when you roll down the volume or the tone knobs, the hum will come back. So while this wire isn't completely necessary, I would highly recommend it. Overall, I think that the modification went well. I've made the guitar more usable for me personally. One note though, there's a pretty big volume drop whenever I'm on the bridge pickup and then I switch the dummy coil on. It cuts the volume about in half. But um, it's about the same volume as bridge neck plus strangle switch and bridge with the dummy coil and bridge neck and strangle switch are my two favorite settings on the guitar so I'm glad that those volumes pretty much match. Also I do know that Fender makes a humbucker version of the classic player Jaguar and that they replaced the uh, rhythm circuit with coil splits and that I could have just bought that instead but I think I'd prefer to have my guitar because even a, I don't think a split humbucker would quite sound like a Jaguar single coil.